can do and, and kind of teach your children to do to prevent these things from happening. Susan Smith from the Franklin County Dog Shelter and Adoption Center is here. Um, we'd love you should all know about this. And I have two dogs. Susan, you know I want one of them from you yes. guys. You did. So what should we do and what should we not do? And is it is every dog, um, every dog can bite. Every dog can bite. Can bite that's what say, yes. yes. Um, I, I think it's really important. That part of our mission is to teach people what to do to keep the dogs and the people in the ha family safe. Right. And so we spend a lot of time in schools. Um, this month alone, we're going to reach more than 4,500 kids in schools all around That's Franklin right. County. And what we try and teach them is what to do and then what not to do. Because um, kids often assume that any dog that they encounter is going to behave just like their dog at home. And that's nothing not could be further than the truth. And your dog, you know, in the right situation, if someone, you know, surprised them and grabbed them, they, would, they might defend themselves. And, it, yeah. and you have to look at the size of the dog, too. So yeah. standing with us is the little one. Oh, by the way, all the dogs yeah. you see here, they are up for adoption. Yes. So who is this cutie pie? Uh, this is Roscoe. And Roscoe is a five-year-old uh, boy fox mix who's very athletic. Yeah. He's got about three foot vertical leaps. And uh, he is up for adoption at the shelter. He's quite energetic, a great little companion, but he also likes to cuddle and snuggle. And so, so yeah. th there's one thing that I know very, very well about uh, dogs and them nipping a little bit. If they're sleeping, yes, especially never little ones. ones. You want to teach children never to disturb a dog uh, that's sleeping and never to disturb a dog that's not with its owner. You right. never want to approach a strange dog that's not with a person. And if it's a person, you want to ask the person, may I pet your dog? Yes. And teach yes. children to do that automatically before they ever approach a dog. Right, and one of the best ways to do it, and this is what I learned, is that you put your hand out and you let the dog smell Let the dog, dog come to you. So as soon as yes. the owner says, yes, you may, yes. you don't just go right for it. And you don't reach over the dog's head and do threatening things that might cause the dog to, dog to like be afraid. <laughs> Cute. 